I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to continue on with our little sniff session series where we are going through the brand new 2023 fall and winter catalog and we are sniffing our way through each and every scent category. I love doing this each year with you guys. Um, I hope you find it helpful because I know just going by a scent description and I guess you're still kind of going by a scent description, but I hope that by me telling you what I am getting or, hey, if you like this, then you'll like this, um, I hope you find it helpful because sometimes just looking at a scent description and just seeing what category it's in um, isn't always super, super helpful. So I know when ordering blindly, it can be a little bit challenging, but I hope you find this helpful. And I personally just really like going through and re-smelling scents and going through each and every category. Um, I will give you my honest opinions on if I think these scents belong in the in this particular category. Most of the time, I think Scentsy nails it, but sometimes I'm like, yeah, but that actually should be in this category rather than this one. Um, but yeah, so with all of that being said, let's go ahead and dive into today's category, which is the fresh category. And let me tell you, this fresh category is jam packed. We have 20 cents to talk about. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first scent we're going to talk about is definitely a favorite. It's one that typically stays around all year, but it is definitely a fresh scent that is a fresh favorite for sure. And that is aloe water and cucumber. So aloe water and cucumber is fantastic. And this one is definitely a scent that I feel like people don't give enough credit to this scent because it really is great. Um, and it, honestly, this is a fantastic performer too. In fact, just smelling this, I'm kind of like, I wonder if I have any bars of this because I kind of feel like I would love to have this in my warmers right now. <laughs> this is such a good one. And just based on the, the name of it, aloe water and cucumber, you wouldn't think that it would be a very strong scent or that it would have any scent at all, but it does. There is the sweetness of the cucumber that's coming through, um, the freshness of the aloe, and it's just fresh and clean and sweet without it being like a lemon scent or like a laundry scent. It's just fresh and kind of dewy, if that makes sense. So fresh in the kind of like sweet aquatic kind of way. That's something that I always um, really like about the fresh scent category, which is why it's jam packed. There's all different types of fresh scents. You've got fresh like aquatic, you've got fresh like clean laundry, you've got fresh like fresh air type type scents. Um, so all different kinds of like aspects of freshness. So aloe water and cucumber, this one's definitely a great one. So this is described as aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar are oh so mellow. Now I don't pick up just straight like pineapple from this. If it is in here, it's just adding some sweetness. It really is that like aloe, cucumber, that kind of aquatic freshness, really, really nice. So aloe water and cucumber, love that. Next one is Amazon Rain. This is another one that typically does stay around all year. And this one, I'm always on the fence on if I agree that this is fresh. I, I, think, I think we're okay with keeping this in the fresh, but here's why. My nose picks up something different from this scent. This is like a lemon lime kind of floral scent. <laughs> and I know that sounds so strange, but it's really nice. And I, so I do get like kind of a, a zesty, like citrusy kind of freshness from this. It's nice. It's really nice, but don't, don't base your opinion on my scent description of this because I think my nose goes rogue on this one. It is a bestseller, so that should tell you something. Amazon Rain is set off on a rainforest romp, swirling with sweet notes of melon, orange zest, coconut milk, and sultry night blooming jasmine. So I would say, I guess I get the orange zest that's like becoming lemon lime for me for whatever reason. I don't really get coconut milk. I don't really get melon. Um, I think those two elements are just adding a sweetness and then there's just the jasmine on the finish. That's just giving you a little floral kiss that I think it's really nice. So Amazon rain for the fresh category. Uh, next one is Arctic kiss. And you guys, if you have been hanging around with me for a minute, you know how I feel about this scent. Arctic kiss is so good. 
And it's definitely one that I think is going to have to make my top six in this because that's the hard part about these like larger categories. I still give you my like top six picks. The smaller categories are super easy to give you top six because it's just like, what don't I care for? <laughs> or what do I, what can I live without? But these larger categories are kind of harder to, to work with because you have to really like make some difficult decisions. But Arctic Kiss is fantastic. And this one, I definitely pick up melon. This is more of a melon forward scent, which is why I actually love this all year round, not just in the fall and winter months. Um, so this is more of a like fruity freshness. I would, I think I would actually consider this more fruity than it is fresh personally, but it is really nice. I, I love this. If you don't like melon scents, you may not like this one, but um, it's, it's really, really nice. I, I love it. Arctic Kiss, cool Arctic mint. I don't get any mint from this. If you're like me and you don't, you're kind of picky with your mint scents. Um, I don't pick up any mint from this whatsoever. Uh, cool Arctic mint, mint and fresh air embrace the warmth of fluffy vanilla clouds. Listen, I know that there's no melon in the scent description, but there, there is melon in this. Melon and vanilla. And there is like, there is like, a maybe a hint of, of some freshness to there, but it really is, I, I I would categorize this more fruity than fresh personally, but doesn't mean I love it any less. I love it. Next one, another one that you might be kind of surprised by the performance based on the name, and that is By the Sea. So By the Sea is another fantastic scent, and it's another one that does really great in terms of performance. You would think, by the sea, water doesn't really have a smell, <laughs> right? Um, but this does, and you get that like, it's like a salty sea air note, and it's beachy, and it's fresh. It is definitely fresh. It is all fresh, and it is strong. It is really strong. I, I love this. This is the epitome of like a beachy fresh scent for sure. By the sea, the scent of ocean air wafting through dewy seaside grass. 100% I agree with this. It's fantastic. I love it. Okay, next one is Clean Breeze. So Clean Breeze is going to be for my laundry freshness lovers because this smells like fresh clean laundry. <laughs> so this, there are a couple of laundry scents in this. Um, really, it's just basically going to be this one and the next one, I feel like. So I'm glad that they are like side by side because I can tell you what my opinion is on the differences. But just think of like fresh clean laundry that this is this is just your like traditional laundry scent. No, not saying that in like a bad kind of way. Um, it's just like a traditional laundry scent. Clean Breeze is white florals with a touch of spring. This is the scent of fresh clean laundry. So totally agree with that. Okay, and next one is Clothesline. So two very similar scents in that they're both laundry scents. So when you're like, oh, if I'm choosing one laundry scent, what would be the differences? So Clothesline is still that like fresh clean laundry, but it's just, it's a touch sweeter. I think Clean Breeze has a little bit more of that floral note that comes through, whereas Clothesline is more fresh clean laundry with sweetness. If that makes it. not sweet in like a bakery kind of way. It's just it's just a little sweeter. So clothesline is crisp greens, orange flower, creamy, creamy violet and white wicker basket will let you savor the scent of just washed laundry. So clothesline a little bit sweeter, crazy, crazy powerhouse, which by the way, we are going to be doing a powerhouse um, or scent strength series, probably in the next month or so. I want to get through this series. I want to be able to melt some of the new releases. So that way I can give you my honest opinions on the scent performance of those new ones. Um, and then we are going to go through and rate each scent, um, based on, is this a light performer? Is this a medium performer? Is this a, a powerhouse? Um, so stay tuned for that series. So there you go. Clothesline is probably the strongest scent that Scentsy's ever created. <laughs> it's so, so strong. Okay, next one is Cozy Cardigan. I don't know that I agree that this one belongs in fresh. I love it, but I don't know that this is fresh. I would probably consider this more floral because I get, this is a really pretty, like, 
it's a really pretty bedroom scent there is i get more like floral notes from this and kind of like a musky romantic element to this not necessarily this isn't what i would consider like wow this smells fresh like i don't smell this and think this smells fresh i would think automatically probably more floral but in a really good way Okay, so Cozy Cardigan is fine bedded bliss in layers of soft suede, blushing rose, and amber silk. So they're saying fresh, I'm saying floral. But if you're not a floral person, I am typically not a floral person either, but this is absolutely beautiful. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful bedroom scent. So Cozy Cardigan. Okay, and moving right along to a bestseller, and that is Eucalyptus Wreath. And I believe we did talk about this, I think, in the holiday category. Yes, we did. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this, but this is a great, if you like earthy green scents, but you don't want it to necessarily be straight up like spruce, like Christmas tree, um, I think this is a great one to enjoy all year. It doesn't smell like super wintry to me, but it is like earthy green kind of tree like um and i think the eucalyptus in this eucalyptus a little bit goes a long way so i feel like you use too much and it can smell kind of medicinal um this doesn't smell medicinal this smells earthy and green and clean and definitely fresh for sure so eucalyptus wreath is fresh eucalyptus is woven with juniper and adorned with frosted mint I love this one this is this is fantastic and like i said this um i can definitely see anyone enjoying all year if you like those kind of like earthy kind of scents so love it okay next one is fluffy fleece fluffy fleece is really hard to describe i don't know that i would i feel like i would almost call this floral as well um i would i i it's hard because this is available in laundry as well so it's like is it my mind saying that yes this is definitely like laundry fresh because i've experienced it in laundry <laughs> um or is it that it really does truly smell like it's a type of laundry scent i think i think it is i'll give it to you i feel like you could go either way with this with fresh or floral because i mean there are floral notes in those like laundry fresh scents so um i would say i, I would say we'll give this a pass for fresh but um, it is, it's so unique, so different and hard to describe, but I absolutely love it. Some people think this smells like an old granny. <laughs> and you know what? If it does, I am here for it. This is so, so beautiful. And this is such a great performer as well. So fluffy fleece, because this is so hard to describe, let me just, let me just read you the description. So this is described as black currant and cozy musk bundled up beneath a blanket of heliotrope. So I don't know that that really helps either, but it just take my word for it. It's like a floral musky, beautiful scent. I love it. I think, it, I think it's worth giving a try personally. I love it. Okay. Next one is French lavender friends. So clearly you think you already know. I would say this is floral, not fresh, but this is a beautiful scent as well. Um, I kind of smirk because this was discontinued for a little while, but Scentsy has brought it back. So French lavender, I mean, stop it right now. <laughs> this is such a great authentic lavender scent. If you are someone where you don't, like if you're more into like essential oils and diffusing but you do want to have like that same kind of experience with your warmers ding 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 i would say definitely this one there's a couple other ones that we'll talk about actually in this category as well um, but this is definitely one that i feel like is a really good tried and true lavender scent it's earthy it's herbal it's straight up lavender and you would think just by smelling this you would think that you had either like a super fresh sprig of of lavender or like a lavender essential oil in front of your face like it's just it's done so perfectly so so perfectly i don't think i have smelled any other wax for lavender to smell as tried and true as this does so french lavender is i couldn't agree more pure herbal fragrance of wild lavender from the hills of france so simple so perfect okay and we are halfway through this category so let's just keep on trucking along here so we have the next one is frosted vanilla you already know you already know i think this is fantastic i i love this scent have we i don't think have we talked about this scent yet um 
No, we have not, but oh man, it is so nice. This is, if you like, because there, there is there is a difference. There are people who like vanilla scents, but don't like bakery vanilla scents. This is not a bakery vanilla scent. I know for some people, bakery vanilla scents can smell like butter because it's like rich and it's like a buttercream frosting type thing. This is not that. This is more of your, I don't want to call this, I don't want to call this floral vanilla. It's not floral vanilla, but it's just not bakery vanilla. This is more of a vanilla bean with almost like a buttermint kind of finish too. I, I think it's named perfectly. I think frosted vanilla is so perfect because this really does smell like a frosty vanilla scent. So this is described as frosted vanilla, a wonderland of sweet vanilla bean and birch bark with a rush of frosty air. And I couldn't agree more. I think this is described perfectly. I think this is great for people who do like vanilla scents but don't want bakery vanilla. Um, this is fantastic. So really nice frosted vanilla. Oh, I should be making like a pile here. <laughs> But I am not. I'm just gonna wing it when it comes time to pick my top six. Okay, and a new one that we have already talked about early, early on in this series, Frosty Air. And this one's really nice. This is definitely a laundry fresh scent for sure. Okay, so now I need to like compare all three here. Okay, clothesline. It's very similar to clothesline. Is there like, there might be vanilla in this. Is it because I just smelled frosty vanilla, frosted vanilla? Yeah, sweeter than clean breeze. Clean breeze, more floral for sure. Frosty air. <sighs> Similar to clothesline, just a little even sweeter, like a different type of sweetness, almost like a vanilla in this. Let's see. Uh, frosty air, sweet citrus and lily of the valley stay fresh in a flurry of frosty air. So I would definitely categorize this as a laundry fresh scent for sure. Definitely along the same lines as clean breeze and clothesline, but it's really, really nice. So frosty air. Okay, next one. I don't agree with this. <laughs> While I love this scent, I don't agree that it's fresh. And it is Golden Garland. So Golden Garland, I personally would categorize this in the woods category. It smells like painted leaves to me. If you remember painted leaves, um, it was around for Bring Back My Bar. This is this is just it's a it's a great like start to fall scent. I guess I do kind of I guess I understand why because there is like it's like that fresh here we go fresh it's like that like fresh fall air like but there's like a woodsy there's like woodsy notes in the air does that make sense that's what I'm getting and like I think there's some apple in this as well so I would categorize this more wood category than fresh but that's that's just me so golden garland is forest pine needles see i'm not crazy uh intertwined with marigold petals sparkling orange twist and a touch of golden musk i guess the musk is very popular in the fresh category <laughs> i love musk scents so um but this it i would just say if you like painted leaves you will love this because I feel like it's so close. It's almost a dupe. So love that. Okay. Next one is a Roberry favorite for sure. And it is jammy time. Jammy time is life. It is fantastic. It is definitely the go-to in our house for laundry. If Sensi ever does away with jammy time in the laundry, I'm not quite sure what we'll do. <laughs> Probably have to buy it by the truckload just because I I can't be without it. But thankfully, we haven't had to experience that yet. But jammy time is just, it's so wonderful. And I, I do I do see the fresh, but it's also floral as well. I guess we're seeing like a pattern here. A lot of the fresh scents have floral notes in them. Um, but this this is wonderful. It's, it's a sweet floral. I think there's sweet pea in this. And oh, it's just, it's so good. I, I love this. This just makes me feel so cozy and comforted. Love it. There's also lavender in this too, but it's not like there's other like floral elements in this, not just lavender. So good. So jammy time is described as drift into dreamland with baby freesia, lavender, and sweet pea. I love this scent. I love this scent. Ah, it's perfect. Okay. 
Next one is Just Breathe. So this is gonna be for my friends with a, along with the French lavender. If you like those more like herbal, earthy, kind of essential oil kind of smells, I think you'll really like Just Breathe. This gives you kind of like a whole spa vibe. This is this is a whole vibe for sure, and it's it's a spa vibe. Um, this is going to be your eucalyptus scent that has you feeling more medicinal. <laughs> kind of like a Vicks Vapo rub kind of feel, but um, no, when, when you do warm it, it does kind of warm up a little bit and it gives you more of that like spa vibe. But definitely if you're someone who you like more of those like essential oil type scents, I think you'll really like this. So that is Just Breathe. And this is described as, breathe deeply as soothing eucalyptus, zesty lemon, and a medley of mints, comfort and rejuvenate. I would agree, and this absolutely belongs in the fresh category for sure. Okay, next one is Newborn Nursery. I'm going to give you one guess what this smells like. If your guess is baby powder, ding, 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 you get the point. <laughs> uh, this smells just, it's, it's all baby powder. Whew, it's all baby powder. I can't bring myself to warm this one. <laughs> um, I also don't have kids. I know that there's a lot of people who have a like an emotional attachment to this because it reminds them of when their littles were young um, and it kind of brings you back to when they were a baby and you've got the whole baby powder. I just, I didn't experience that. So um, th this is just, it's, and I'm, I'm not big on powder scents. <laughs> so straight up baby powder. If you love this, if you've got a nursery, this is definitely a great one. This is strong. So I would say if you are putting it in a nursery, I would definitely start out with like one cube or even half a cube because she, it may be a newborn nursery, but she's, she's strong. Newborn nursery, fresh, clean, and powdery. This dreamy scent evokes memories of cradling your little ones. So it is super fun when like I go to, to do a home party or events or anything or have a sniff session and someone smells the scent and it's almost like you see it you just see the memory like jump into their into their head because the, they just they close their eyes they smell it and it's an instant smile they're like oh my gosh like this totally reminds me of when my kids were little and um so i i can get that i just i, I don't I don't have that for me <laughs> so um, okay next one is perfect peppermint and we have already talked about this one but I would definitely agree that this belongs honestly in both categories because I think this was the holiday category yes holiday category and fresh I think this is absolutely appropriate for both categories for sure this is just straight up peppermint it's all peppermint. So if you're someone who you're like, I don't need all the other fancy stuff with my peppermint scents. I don't need, you know, I don't want it to be like a cooling effect. I don't need any chocolate. I don't need any like pine tree. I don't need anything else with it. I just want peppermint. This is going to be the scent for you. It's, it's all peppermint. So perfect peppermint, cooler than most pure peppermint is the popular kid you'll love to love. So for my peppermint lovers here. Okay, and we've got three more scents remaining. So we are winding down. I hope you're still hanging out with me. Uh, so the next scent is Polar Bear Hug. And if you are a Scentsy OG, you may remember Eskimo Kiss. This is the same exact scent, just renamed to Polar Bear Hug. And this is a great one. This is definitely a longtime favorite scent for me. And this is one that I definitely add into my club and I do enjoy throughout the year. Um, because I think, I mean, I would consider this more fruity. I would consider this more fruity for sure. I love it though. It's fantastic. I think there's like blackberry. It's like a blackberry jam, I think, in this. Um, it's it's so good. So good. Polar Bear Hug is blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, vanilla, and amber, and a softly romantic scent. So yeah, brown sugar, blackberry jam, vanilla, amber. That sounds pretty fruity to me. Just saying. <laughs> It's fantastic, but I would definitely say this is more um, more fruity than fresh, but I do love it. So, so that's the hard part. So am I picking six of my favorite, f like fresh, fresh scents? Well, I mean, I guess so. Cause we already, we haven't talked about fruity yet. Is fruity, yeah, yeah. Polar bear hug is not in the fruity category. Th that's what's hard. <laughs> Cause I'm like, Am I just going for fresh when I consider some other things 
like a woodsy scent or a fruity scent we're going with we're just gonna go with this this category okay thanks for talking through this with me <laughs> okay uh the next scent we are going to talk about is silver bells talk about a unique scent like this one is so hard to describe um because the scent description is going to confuse you what i tell you is going to confuse you and so you're probably thinking that sounds weird but it's really good um this is like a winter it's a winter pear scent that just has like a coolness on the back end and i believe that there's candy cane in the scent description so that's where that's coming from but it's really nice it is really nice i i would definitely consider the, oh gosh would this be this is so hard to describe like you could probably put this anywhere but uh, in terms of like any category but um yeah we'll stick with fresh on this I, I i can see that so silver bells is mint candy canes dance over warm and welcoming winter pear all enveloped in a velvety blanket of caramel and vanilla sugar so you have all kinds of things happening here right we have uh we have the candy canes i do pick that up but it's not like it's not like even candy cane buttercream and it's not like perfect peppermint there's just like a cool aspect to this um and then we have the winter pear that really does shine through um the caramel and vanilla sugar is just adding some sweetness like if you are someone who you don't like caramel scents that it's too cloyingly sweet i wouldn't let that in the scent description put you off um there is just a sweetness to this i think it's more of that vanilla sugar than it is really caramel but it's different and it's beautiful and i do add it to my club because this is one that goes away every spring and summer and i'd be really sad without it so it doesn't go in my monthly club but definitely quarterly because it is one that i do reach for during like the winter months for sure so silver bells and last but most certainly not least is white amber and silk and i love this scent for the bedroom i think this is another one yeah i don't know it's so hot like i feel like this is floral too i don't know <laughs> um i yeah you know i guess i would call this i guess i would call this a clean this is like a sophisticated clean laundry scent like i would wear this as a perfume honestly it's beautiful so i i guess i guess it's clean laundry but it's like fancy clean laundry it's like it's way like in a different league than clothesline clean breeze and even frosty air like this is this is like level up laundry <laughs> like this is beautiful white amber and silk is warm amber and bergamot are wrapped up in comforting cotton for a smooth finish so i guess i guess i would agree but there's I feel like there's I feel like that that description is just too simple for how beautiful of a scent this is. I love it. I love this. It's so 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 pretty. Ah, white amber and silk. Okay, so now that is the entire fresh category. So now it's time for me to pick my top six scents out of this category. One eternity later. All right, you guys. So we got there. This was painful. This this was really painful. <laughs> I feel like I could do like even a top ten. I feel like I could do a top ten. I really really like this category. Um, while I disagree with some of the placements, um, I do really enjoy this category. There's really only like two cents I could really like do without, and that would be newborn nursery and perfect peppermint. And that's just because. I'm not a huge fan of like baby powder smells or peppermint smells, but if that's, if that's for you, you're going to love those scents. So this was really hard because I really love all of these scents. So not in any particular order whatsoever. We have polar bear hug. Love this scent. I love it all year. I think that's kind of my thing is like looking at these scents and like, I can enjoy all six of these, like all year round like i really wouldn't ever get sick of these so polar bear hug definitely had to make my list a uh, eucalyptus wreath i mean it's a bestseller it's fantastic it's so good without it being like specifically christmasy jammy time i mean really you had to know <laughs> jammy time was definitely going to make my list um arctic kiss another one along with polar bear hug like it's just a lot of times like there for a while i was like ah 
they're similar but they're different enough so like in the very beginning when it came to these two i'm like oh, if i'm gonna have one in my club i don't need to have the other i stopped fighting with myself and they they just i'd be sad without both of them so they both had to make my list um next one frosted vanilla i i'm a vanilla girl through and through so like i know that's probably boring but I love this scent. <laughs> I love this scent. It's a really, really nice vanilla scent. And like I said, if you're someone who you like vanilla but not bakery vanilla, give this one a try. It's really pretty. And last but not least, white amber and silk for my fancy lady laundry. <laughs> really, really pretty. Love, love, love white amber and silk. So there you have it. Those are the fresh category of fragrances for the 2023 fall and winter season. Uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite fresh scents are. Um, do you agree that all of these belong in the fresh category or would you change some things around like I would not that it actually matters like they're all available right but I just think in terms of like if someone comes to me and says I like fresh scents I don't know that I would say you're gonna go for golden garland like I, I don't know that I would suggest that but I don't know that's just me all right you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content if you like this series i appreciate the love and support if you're new please subscribe if you're already subscribed be sure to hit the notification bell that way you stay up to date with all things sensi have an amazing day you guys and i'll see you in my next one bye